Primary election is just a couple of weeks away now, and we're working to help you get to know the candidates. We're continuing our profile of governor candidates. Yesterday, Simon Shaket examined Attorney General Bill Schuette. Today, reporter Brian Abel shares his one-on-one -on -one with Democrat Gretchen Whitmer. We asked candidate for Governor Gretchen Whitmer her vision for Michigan if she were to lead the state. A total of seven questions that each candidate was also asked. Outside of politics, Gretchen Whitmer has her hands full with five kids in the house. By the time I leave for work some mornings, I've made, let's see, four breakfasts, five lunches, and dinners in the crock pot. Being a mother, Michigan's gun laws are on the forefront of the former Senate Democratic leader's mind. I have to talk to my daughters in a way that my parents never had to talk to me. You know, uh, making sure that they're always thinking about what the quickest way to escape a classroom is. She advocates for working with gun owners to get background checks, keep guns out of the hands of people convicted of violence, and waiting periods. When it comes to weed, Whitmer believes if marijuana is legalized, it'd be up to her to ensure the regulation is helping improve the state's schools, roads, and health care. I also think that we need to expunge criminal records for people that are, are, have done time or have got a record for an offense that would now be legal. The hallmark of Whitmer's campaign, Michigan's aging infrastructure. It is time to fix the damn roads, ensuring that when we do it, we use that as an opportunity to upgrade the lead service lines that are is bringing water into our homes. We've got 71 communities that have higher lead in their water today than Flint does. Whitmer is pushing back on her opponents, characterizing her as in the pocket of big health care with undisclosed campaign donors. Anyone who questions who I fight for is not familiar with the 14 years of work that I did. I crossed the aisle and worked with a governor of the other side of the party to deliver health care for 680,000 people in this state. And I live up to the law, and I think everyone who's implying anything short of that either doesn't have the facts or they've got their own deceptive reason. We also asked Whitmer about her plans for education in Michigan. To see that and the answers to all seven of our questions, just go to our website, WXYZ.com. Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Every day at 5, we'll highlight another candidate running. If you miss any of them, we'll post each of these interview segments on our website at WXYZ.com. Tomorrow, we'll profile state senator and Republican candidate for governor, Patrick Kolbeck. Thanks to